Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here. And uh, today is the <coughs> problem from the last tutorial. And uh, <coughs> here it is, uh, the plane of uh, the dip circle is set in geographical meridian. Please remember, the plane is set in geographical meridian and the correct value of uh, dip angle will come in the magnetic meridian. And they are saying that and the apparent dip is theta 1. It is then set in vertical plane perpendicular to the geographical meridian. So again, we are rotating it by 90 degree and then apparent dip becomes theta 2. Then they are asking us in the question, find the angle of declination alpha in terms of theta 1 and theta 2 at that particular place. So the correct uh, value of uh, dip angle will be measured in uh, magnetic meridian. So here in this diagram, you can see this is the magnetic meridian and this plane is uh, geographical meridian. So the correct angle of dip I can write as a true dip, which is uh, tan delta here I can write BV by BH. So this is the definition wise. And now they are placing the dip circle in the plane of geometric meridian. So the magnetic needle will align itself in the direction of net field. So clearly you can see the vertical component of magnetic field will be as it is. Whereas this horizontal component of magnetic field will become BH cos theta. You can see here this is the BH and its uh, horizontal component is BH cos theta. So this becomes BH cos theta. So here tan theta one I can write as uh, BV by BH cos theta. This is first equation which is given to us. Now they are saying when we are rotating it by angle of 90 degree. So if uh, I rotate this uh, circle, it was in this plane first. So if I rotate by 90 degree this side, so this angle will become 90 minus theta or other side if I take 90 plus theta I can write. So bo in both the cases, the magnetic field component will be BH sin theta. Whether it is cos of 90 plus theta or uh, sin or uh, cos of 90 minus theta, in both cases magnitude remains same, which is BH sin theta. So this tan theta 2 angle given was uh, theta 2 here. So tan theta 2 becomes BV by BH sin theta. Now we have these two equations Just divide these two and we will be getting tan theta 1 by tan theta 2. We have to calculate the angle of declination. That means angle between magnetic meridian as well, uh, and geometric meridian. So tan theta is given by tan theta 1 by tan theta 2. So this is uh, another important application of uh, this part. And guys here on if you want to connect with me on an academy for uh, live classes so some offer is going on it is uh, valid up to 28 january i think it is uh, increased to 31st and a uh, lot of uh, uh, subscription off is going on up to 30 percent you can get so if you want to connect with me you can use my code nathan sir in order to connect with me on an academy so that's it in this video. It's an easy problem but important application. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed this. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.